Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the ZZ tutorial for Blender Noobs. In this part we will be covering um, folding the model as it needs to be to be getting in game and putting in uh, things like sword and shields, which is pretty easy for anyone who already knows how to do it, especially when it comes to the positioning of everything. So let's get started here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the skeleton here and we are going to follow the these transformations here let me just pull them up in another tab and then tab another tab right here so I don't accidentally not follow it so we start with the hat before actually before we move on Something I need to mention is if you don't lock it to axis, you could have something go wrong. Like for example, say you have it like this, and you select the leg, which you're supposed to rotate 22.5 degrees. You click rotate 22.5. Oh, yeah, 22.5. Now, if you look at it from the top, it looks a little bit odd, but if you look at it from here, it looks even worse because it's partially in the air. If you don't lock it to the axis, it will not rotate right. So what you want to do is you want to lock it to an axis. So right now it's free flowing. There's the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. And this way, it makes it a lot easier for you to not mess up. So I can't tell you how many times I had to re-rig because I didn't notice that I messed up. So Say I was supposed to do this hat. The first one we're supposed to, it says to do it 135 degrees. Alright? Now I did 135 degrees. It is not facing the direction it should be. It should be going inside Link's head. So for this one, you'll be doing R for rotate, Y to lock it to the Y axis, and then 135 degrees. And it should be going into Link's head like this. Next, we will be doing the head which will be 90 degrees backwards so we click R 90 degrees now you see I forgot to <laughs> walk into the axis so it'll be R Y 90 degrees there we go then the sheath grab the little sheath bone here these should all be labeled for you R Y 180 degrees Next will be the arm. Each arm will go 45 degrees. R. Now this one should be locked to the Z axis. Z, 45 degrees. Bam. Now something that's really cool, say you already have it, you accidentally like move your mouse here and it's all rotated right here. If you start typing it in, um, it'll rotate 45 degrees from where it started, not from where you accidentally moved it. The cool thing about this is all you have to do is type in how you want to rotate it. You don't have to just guesstimate by moving your mouse. So for the legs here, it'll be 22.5. And see how it's going the wrong direction here? It should be going inwards and not outwards. So we clicked 22.5. And to get it to go the other way, we just simply click the negative button. Now R, 22.5. So far, so good. Now we have Lincoln, a uh, little plank state here. So, after that, what we're going to do is rotate the arms by 180 degrees. Make sure you grab the arm here. R, 180 degrees. And then we rotate the hands 90 degrees. Oh, look at that. I messed up again. R, Y. 90 degrees. See, they should be facing the other way, so once again we click negative. And the last thing we have to um, rotate is the waist. Do not click this one here. You want to make sure that you click waist. And since on the child link one here you can't really see it, you can come over here to the rig where it says link. You click root control and then click on waist here. So now you should have the waist selected. Now you click R, 
y180. Then you'll grab the feet here. You can grab both at the same time if you want. R Y 90, which once again is the wrong way, so you'll click negative. So he should when by the time you're done, he should look like this. Alright? Now after you're done, you'll click the model. And you'll go to your modifier here, and you will click apply. Now what that does is now this is the new default pose. So now what this means is uh it no longer is going by what the skeleton says, so like we can move the skeleton here as long as we want, and it won't touch it because it's no longer being modified by the skeleton. So now that we have that applied, we also want to apply this as the, the default pose for the skeleton because this will be the final um, pose it'll be in when you import it. So you'll go into, you'll click it, you go to pose, pose mode, pose, apply apply poses rest pose just like we did um, when we started this only we're doing it backwards now say you want to edit this model like say you forgot to make his hat big enough or that you just don't have it the way you want it what you can do is you can unfold it which and the way you do that is you go to modifier or no, not modifier you click the model you go to the modifier which will be this little wrench add modifier armature and then you click this little box right here. Let me see if you can see it in OBS. Nope, let me move this. You'll click this and then link. Now it, it is once again being modified by the link skeleton. So we'll put this back over here. So now we unfold the model so we can edit it again. And I, you're supposed to click these two like the tutorial says, but I'm not going to do that yet so I can show you why you have to do that. So to make sure you click, I like to start with the waist because that's the smart thing to do. You click the waist again, R, Y, 180. Alright. And then I will do the arms. So I'll click shoulder, and the shoulder, R, Y, 180. Now I'll fix the hands. R, Y, 90. Now we'll make the arms go back out, so each one's 45 degrees. R, Z, 45. R, Z, 45. Since it's backwards, we'll click negative. But now with the legs, R, Z, 22.5. Now say you actually missed type and you click something else, so you'll I'll do R, Z, and then something else. Just click on do and just do it again. R, Z, 22.5. Move the other leg. Oh, wait, nope. Got to do the feet first. Put the feet. Grab the both feet. Come on. Grab it. Don't be dumb. Come on. Come on, little thing. Don't be afraid. All right, let me try to grab this one first. All right. R, Y, 90. Oh, I only grabbed one. R, Y, 90. There we go. Now we can spread his legs. <laughs> R, Z, 22.5. Grab his other leg. R, Z, 22.5. Negative. This is backwards. We'll grab his neck here. It'll say head. R, Y, 90. Since it's backwards, we'll click negative. We'll grab his hat. R, Z, oh wait, no, R, Y, 135. Now, since his, his hat is backwards, it's not pointing in the right direction, so you just click negative, and there we go. We got him back to how we had him before we folded him. Now, you will not be applying this modifier, and that is because even though he looks like this, he, he is still by default in his folded pose. This is only so that you can edit it. So we'll just to show you what I mean, we'll click this model, we'll click his model, we'll go into edit mode. Now you can see he's folded in half. That's because this is how he actually is. Now if you actually want to edit him, you go into object mode. You'll go to your little wrench here and you'll click these two things. These two things right here allow you to edit him. So when you click edit mode, he stays like this and you can change whatever you want about him. So just to show you, I'm going to take his hat and make it super long, alright? 
and then go back in object mode and go to skeleton and let's go to edit now if you look even if you fold the back half our edit there is still applied so this makes it so you can edit your model and you won't have to refold him or anything so that's perfect so we could just do whatever we want with him now next I'm going to show you how to put input import the weapons which will be nice so let's see did I forget anything here um, I don't think so so basically what that is is his rest his rest pose will be folded in half pose position is is like pretty much the best way to describe it is it is a transformation that has not been applied yet all right so now let's go to import the weapon so I can show you how to get them shiny and stuff so we'll go so we're gonna go to file import obj we're gonna click the weapons that'll be in with the textures with the Majora's Mask Leaf model. Just one more folder in. Weapons. There we go. Should look like this. So to make this easier, we're going to take Link. We're going to hide him for now. And there we have it. There is our sword, shield, and sheet. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take the blade. We're going to go into edit mode. We're going to select the face of this, just so we know we got the texture. We're looking here. And we're going to see um along with our clamps here that we talked about earlier we have reflection now that what that does is it takes a texture and makes it move depending on the environment so when you move around and it makes it look shiny so it's really useful now we're going to take the other ones and we're going to see what needs clamped this needs clamped I'm going to say that no, it does not need to be clamped. All right. So I take this. That's already on reflection. All right. The sheath definitely needs to be clamped here. We're going to take this texture. We're going to clamp it to the Y. Okay. Clamp it to the X. Now when we import it, it's not going to look gray like this because the texture should split in half and it should clamp to, to, that, to that blue there. So we don't got to worry about that. We're going to take the shield. We're going to clamp it because it definitely needs to be clamped. Just so that because it's two different textures here, we're going to want it to, you know, we're going to want it so it looks seamless, as seamless as possible. And see, it's just that easy. Now, um, let's take. Let's bring up my display capture here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Easy convert. I'm going to watch tutorial here. There's going to be a folder for object and child. This right here, this manifest child here, this is what's going to be used to import it into the game. And you are going to need to have a patch for that, which is, I will provide and we will talk about next video. But here, we open this and we will find out what we need to name our sword, our object. So we want to name the sword, right? So we'll look for sword in the sword in the manifest here. So sword sheath, that's sheath. I know I said sword, but this came up first. So it'll be named sheath. Now something to note is this, this is case sensitive. So we'll just name this sheath, capital S. Let's see what comes next. next there's hilt one which will be the sword handle there's blade one which should be the blade and then there is the shield now I'm just for now I'm just going to put this over the um, decker shield just uh, for simplicity's sake, I could make it go over the Highland Shield, but that is a tutorial for a different time because it's a little unrelated. Shield one would be the Deku Shield. There we go. Now we're gonna unhide our object here. Oh, now is a good time to mention that you don't need the original Link model anymore, so we'll just scrap that. And just to get rid of the textures. 
Um, that one of the plugins I included was called Cleanup. You, it will be this MISC tab. Click this. We click Textures. Delete Orphans. Go to Materials. Delete Orphans. Now, upon next open, this should delete those textures from the scene. Now, the last thing we're going to do before we end this little um, this video is we are going to get our ROM ready. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our tutorial folder, we'll go to Tools, ROM Patcher. Now, this, we need to patch this with uh, this the optimized link objects. This will make it so that the manifest knows where every single offset is of Link's file so it can move it around with, with need be so that it actually gets rid of Link's normal model and also assigns everything that you need. So there will be no hex that you need. So you'll click this link, it'll take you to cloud modding here. Um, now we go to our optimized link objects here. It'll grab a ROM. I will not be providing the ROM, by the way, you will need to include it yourself. Um, you'll put it in the folder with this patch, you'll select both patch and you'll just drag it in here. And it should come up with this. Now let's take it to our tutorial folder, we'll take it to tools and bring it here just so it has this name. And we're going to name this optimized link objects.z64. Now this will be the ROM that we apply our new model to, which we will be going into in the next video. So it, I will see you in the next one.